I'm so glad that your phone works there. I was afraid that wouldn't. Are you all right? Yeah, everything's great here. It's just... What, darling? Mom, I miss you. I mean, I know that you're really having a good time and you love it in Paris, but are you ever coming home? And Natalie, honey, you're, you're breaking up. I didn't really hear the last thing you said. I, I said that I know you love Paris, but are you ever coming home? Oh, sorry. I mean, uh, pardonnez-moi. Don't give me that. The firelight is broken. I can't finish my conch fritters. And get off the phone. Sorry, sweetheart. Uh, somebody bumped into me. What are you doing there? And what does France have that we don't have? It's not that, darling. Ask the little vixen why she's hiding out in Paris. <laughs> We're not checking up on you, I swear. <gasps> well, are you doing something that needs to be checked up on? idea liar no mom you really need to come home because um jessica really needs adult supervision <laughs> oh my i miss you too so much i promise we'll be laughing together again soon all right she's so not ready to come home <laughs> oh blair <laughs> girls night in months do they have girls night in paris look sweetheart i told you the other night when we were emailing you know I'm just not ready to leave Paris yet. Well, I don't mean to be a nag. Honey, it's... I'm, I'm finding out things about myself that I never knew. I, I don't know how to put it other than that. But that doesn't mean that I don't miss you all terribly. Oh, you know, Mom, I have a really, really great idea. Oh, what, why don't I come... Why don't I come and visit you for the weekend? You know, you can show your city. Oh, you're never going to believe you just walked in the door. It's Dad. Oh, good. Uh, give him my best. Natalie won't hand over the phone. Uh, this is not just coming home anytime soon. Oh. Uh, Mom says hi. Okay, say hi back. Natalie, he Natalie, hi. I need to talk to the three of you. Oh, Mom, um, Dad needs to talk to us, and he's got that look on his face. It's probably the B.E. stuff. Well, that, that, that's fine. You go ahead and talk to him, and you do, do business, okay? Uh, I love you, darling. I love you, too. And um, I'm serious about coming to see you in Paris. I mean, I, I, I never thought. I just, well, if I can get the time off, I will. You okay? I'm sorry, what? Your phone, you said you only use it for emergencies. Oh, oh no, everything's fine. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, we've been friends for going on two months now, and you don't want to tell me who you were talking to. I was talking to my daughter. You have a daughter? Yeah. You never told me that. What else have you been keeping from me? Is my children a secret? Children? Yeah. How many do you have? I have four. I have two sons, wonderful sons, and I have twin girls while they went out. You raised four kids. Yeah. You go, girl. All I have is one, and I hit the wall about ten times a day. Of course, that one is my shame. Hey, I was not the model of motherhood. Believe mm. me. I'm always telling myself just get him through high school without killing him, and then everything will be all right. Yeah, but geez, then he end up dealing with the grown-up problems and that's when you wish that he was six years old again and he thought you hung the moon. I guess. <laughs> so, where's their dad? Oh, we've been divorced for a long time. You two get along? Yeah, actually. We get along very well. <laughs> wow. I mean, some days better than others, but you know, when you have children with a man, there's always a connection. Sure. Yeah. So what are your girls like? Oh, even though they're twins, they're really, really different. I mean, they used to butt heads, but now they're crazy about each other. They're beautiful. They're really smart. Well, why wouldn't they be all that? Look at their mom. Why are they... Hey, Vicki? Yeah? Mind if I ask you something? Sure. Okay. Staying firmly with your ex-husband, how'd you manage that? I think, basically, we've always just wished each other well, you know? I mean, I would never take pleasure if something bad happened to him, and I think he feels the same way about me. <laughs> of course, I'm not always thrilled with his choices. Like what? 
He's involved with this woman that I know Someone you can't stand, right? How did you know? I can tell by the look on your face. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, you know what? It does. It really kind of does. Is she the reason that you showed up here in Paris? Basically, I think I just needed a break from everything and everyone that I know. I hear you. My old life. It had really run its course, so I thought I'd get myself a new one. All right. So what's next? Beats me. I'm just enjoying the ride right now. The woman said... The tender says, wait a minute, are you a rope? And the rope says, no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> what do you two think you're doing? Oh, Vicky was telling a joke, Mo. Remember humor or has it been too long? I lose my memory and my sense of humor when I'm not making money. There's a customer over there who still hasn't been waited on. Okay, I'll take care of it. Vicky has something this place needs. Class. And I'll tell you something else about her, Mo. She's a lady who's looking for something. So am I. Freedom from the dingbats of this world. Kiss it, Mo. Bye, Charlie. Hi there. Welcome to the Bourgeois Cafe. My name's Vicky. What can I get you? Oh, hello, Vicky. I'm Charlie. Oh, hi. It's a nice little place you got here. It's different. Well, in a good way, I hope. Mm. It's your first time? Yeah, I've just been driving all day and got pretty tired of looking at the road. All of a sudden, I don't know where this place appeared. It has a way of doing that. <laughs> well, it's nice to have a good warm welcome. How about doing something a little different, getting this food out of the customers before it's stone cold? Why don't you say it a little bit louder, Mo? I don't think they heard you in Lubbock. Okay, you were saying. <laughs> conch, not conch. They're conch fritters, not conch fritters. Think of me conking you over the head. I'll do that. And you think of me picking up that frying pan and putting it with a moon don't shine, Mo. <laughs> Should I be going on a better break of that? Oh, no, 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 they're fine. They do that all day long. So, do you know what you want yet? Yeah, I mean, well, there's so much to choose from, and yeah. half of it's in French. Well, Mo was actually a cook in the Navy, and he traveled around the world. That menu's a little intimidating uh, to newcomers. I tell you what, I'll give you a few minutes, okay? Well, okay, or you could sit and give me your opinion on what's good. I mean, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, you got this time. Oh, get it in gear. I've got hungry people out here. Why are you serving the soup and pumpkins? It's my homage to Halloween. Is this your butternut squash? Didn't your oh, mama teach you any manners? I do this so when the customers say, do you eat his food? I can say, yeah, I eat his food. You know, for a single mother with no other means of support other than what I put in your pay packet every other Friday, out of the goodness of my heart. What heart? You're begging for it, Marasco. Love it, Mo. Okay, I'm going to take your word for it. Just make sure that it's more, oh, okay, not so much vol. I've got to drive. You're going to love it, trust me. I'll tell you what, if you don't, it's on me. You make that guarantee to all your customers? No, just the ones who ask for my advice and actually listen to it. <laughs> I saw you in table seven, hubba hubba. What? I don't know about you, but I wouldn't kick him out of bed. Oh, I hadn't really noticed. Yeah, right. Spot. 